Hey guys, it's Thursday, the second last day of the working week. I'm Dan and this is GameSpot News. In case you've forgotten that E3 is just under two weeks away, Ubisoft have released a trailer for their E3 conference to get you riding that swan boat of hype. After revealing that there will be a new Assassin's Creed game soon, Far Cry 5 is coming in February, and the crew is getting a sequel, you'd be right to think that Ubisoft might not have much else to show at E3. Well, Ubisoft CEO Yves Guillermo is here to set you straight with a look at their E3 conference sizzle reel. Let's fire it up. Oh. Oh, redacted. Wait, all's not lost though. One of those redacted frames teases the announcement of a new IP, which we know will be released in the 2018 to 19 fiscal year, thanks to those ever helpful earnings calls. There's also mention of Easter eggs deemed a PR risk during some South Park fractured but whole shots, and features shown at conference that pops up in between Far Cry 5 footage. Customizable wallets, maybe? We'll be on the show floor covering everything E3, so make sure you're subscribed. And hey, while you're at it, you can grab the GameSpot Now app on iOS and Android to get the 10 biggest stories of the day delivered straight to your conversation at bus stops or Voida. That's your phone. I recently jumped back into Pokemon Go, and I can't believe how much it's changed since launch. And it looks like the changes are set to keep coming, as legendary Pokemon and PvP are set to come sometime this summer. In an interview with Brazilian newspaper O Globo, translated by Reddit users Consti and Hisuchi, developer Niantic revealed that the much-requested PvP feature is planned to hit this summer. The feature was delayed due to the quote, large success of the game. Niantic went on to tease other features saying, right now we are working on some that are due to hit this summer in the Northern Hemisphere, such as giving more value to the choice of the teams, releasing legendary Pokemon, and introducing PvP. Niantic's global marketing product lead, Arkit Bhargava, also teased the inclusion of legendary Pokemon during his acceptance speech at the 21st annual Webby Awards, saying, this summer will be legendary. He could just be buying a slip and slide though. Let me know which Pokemon you want to see added to Pokemon Go, and if you can make it to the bike racks after school so we can PvP. Sorry to end on some bad news, but Middle Earth Shadow of War has been delayed. The sequel to 2014's Shadow of Mordor was originally scheduled to launch in August, but has now been pushed to October 10. In a blog post, developer Monolith explained the delay was to ensure the game delivers quote, the highest quality experience. They went on to apologise for the quote, difficult decision to move our launch date to ensure that the game will deliver on that promise. But don't fret, they signed off their post by saying, we're excited to show more at E3, so you can look forward to that. And that's it for today. Do enjoy the rest of your day or the whole day that is ahead of you, and we will see you tomorrow for our top five stories of the entire week.